Hey guys, it's Kala. Hope your week is going well. It's underway. And I just wanted to, I'm going to take a step into this um, whole conversation some of you may have heard about um, in terms of what's going on with Doreen Virtue. Um, there's just a lot of conversation about her and I really was unsure of whether I wanted to really say anything. Um, but I'm just going to make a short video and put it out there. I mean, like, why not, right? So, you know, Doreen Virtue, if you don't know her, um, I'm just wondering if I could show you one of her decks. Very, very famous for her oracle decks um, uh, that she makes usually with somebody else, angels, mermaids, all sorts of stuff. Um, I have a dear friend who really loved her. And to be very honest with you, <laughs> now I'm saying this, I never totally resonated with her, but I'm going to be honest, because she was so popular, you know, I'd look at her decks and so on. She also still has a YouTube channel, and um, I definitely started, I'd say earlier this year, watching all of her forecasts. She'd do a weekly forecast. As I said, she's really, really popular, and so I said, you know, I can learn from her, and I will see what she said. I do think that often her readings did have a resonance with me, with what she would say. But at the very same time, um, my friend would sort of make fun of her because it was like she was all, like people say, rainbows and unicorns. Like she was just invariably very, very positive in a way that some people didn't feel um, was genuine. Now, I felt that, but I thought, I didn't think it was so much fake, but that that's like her, her thought process, you know, was just like super positive and whatever. So I wasn't coming at, at, at all that like, oh, she's lying. It was more that um, that's just like her, you know, how she views the world, right? Well, anyway, so what's happened is, as you may know, she, over the last few months, she's been shifting. And I want to say I have absolutely no problem with that because I think we really have to follow our spiritual path. Um, and so she was basically new age, new thought. Um, I think she was raised Christian science. I'm not 100% sure, but a very sort of positive type of church, the type of church that believes that everything you say and all that, you can bring things into creation. So a very specific church she did come out of. Um, anyway, she started just shifting. Um, basically, what she says happened is that she had like a conversion experience. Um, she had an experience where she saw Jesus and had this, like literally had this dramatic um, experience that was beautiful for her. She got baptized. And so she's basically shifting from a lot of what, I don't really like the label New Age so much, but a lot of New Age beliefs to being... Um, relatively fundamentalist type Christian and so I think folks were watching her because this was very different than her past right so it's a big change then apparently she began to get very negative and a little bit judgmental now I just watched her latest video which is like her message of love to her students I just saw that and she's like oh it's misinformation um, but apparently there was a video that she got very negative and she took it back down. And it really hurt people because she started like almost denouncing everything that she had spoken about before. So I think clearly she's still evolving. Um, and I, a lot of people think that she completely like just wants to market to a bigger market, you know, the Christian market specifically. And she's going to make decks for that and books. And I wouldn't be surprised, of course, because since she is a creator and an author and a public figure, of course, if this is her new belief, that's what she's going to shift to making um, things related to her Christian beliefs, right? But I just want to say I think it's fine that people evolve spiritually, and I'm not using the word actually evolve to mean going from lesser to higher, but that, that people change and I really believe she had this experience. I don't think it's fake. I don't think it's part of a marketing. Some people are very, very cynical and they're like, oh, the new age well ran dry. She wasn't making any money and la da da. I don't know that any of us, the people, you know, out on YouTube can know that. I, she made a lot of money from her past work. She still would get royalties. Uh, apparently she is renouncing some of it. Certain 
uh, books she's written she doesn't want her name on. So you can see how this would be very hurtful for some people because people were really following her um, like a guru, really. So how can I make this my video positive? I just want to say we do all evolve. There have been people out there apparently from New Age to Christian or from Christian to New Age. You know, all sorts of things happening. Um, but I think we should support people and not uh, just because we disagree with their religious beliefs, especially if their religious beliefs are not about harming anyone. Um, that should be their choice, right? This is a country of religious freedom. I'm, here, I'm in the U.S. So I don't have any problems with her changing. What I do see as a problem is if indeed in some of her videos, as I said, and I, there was one specifically that was taken down where she was very negative to people whose beliefs are different than hers, who she previously, you know, embraced. And that feels like a slap. Um, I feel that she's still evolving. Um, and the reason I think it's genuine is because she knew she'd get a huge backlash from this. You don't sort of shift communities in such a big way and not get a huge backlash. And so, you know, I don't think there's anything fake about it. I think she genuinely had this spiritual experience. What I find interesting is that she didn't, there are people who have and speak about Jesus and have that connection, that heart connection to Jesus Christ, and yet are still, you know, what he embodied, loving, love thy neighbor, kindness, compassion. I mean, there are stories in the Bible of Jesus being, you know, telling people about not judging and extending love. And so, to me, that's what I, I always look for in somebody's religion, are they able to embody that love that is at the root of, of their religion? And so, um, you know, hopefully she will go forward um, with not just denouncing people because their beliefs are different than yours. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, that's a huge issue. There are people who don't believe in religion at all, any religion, because they see how humans, we humans will will fight and, and kill and harm others in the name of a religion. And so there are people who don't have any beliefs. Now, my sense in my life experience, I have seen experiences that I feel are not explainable, uh, you know, scientifically, and that I feel like I've tapped into spirit through my own experiences, feel like they validate my beliefs. And I don't uh, condemn anyone's religion, especially and especially up until the point where it is not harming others, where it is not killing, uh, raping, uh, leading to beliefs where you want to sort of destroy the earth and basically life on earth that you, we, we didn't create. So I think that any true religion has to come from a place of love, brotherhood, and sisterhood. And I do acknowledge that there is a higher power. I have felt it. I, I see it. Um, I know for many people... There are people in the world who are so, you know, quote, scientific, but there are also scientists who have religious beliefs. So, anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, about her, and I wish her the best. Um, I was not a big investor in, I had maybe one deck of hers. Oh, you've seen me use. I have the goddess deck. I'm not going to throw it out. Um, you know, there's just, you know, you might want to check out some of the videos if you're interested in this. There are people, there's one young man who was just deeply hurt, and he expressed it beautifully, though. And he said, you know, you were like a spiritual mom to me. Um, maybe I'll put a link to his video. And I think he covered, well, just how some people feel hurt. There are people who studied with her, taking courses. And so for her to, like, renounce something, you studied with her, feels really like a slap in the face. Uh, I am not in that group. And um, it's funny, you guys, my initial intuition on her was, you know, nice person. I really didn't resonate with her. And then part of me, I almost forced myself to, because I said, you know what, you're not being open, started following her. And, of course, through seeing her videos, started to like her more. Um, so it's interesting, but my initial feeling was, was not of was not at all evil. I'm not going to, no. But it was just, I didn't reson I didn't feel her resonating on a high uh, just like a high vibration for me. Um, I do think she helped a lot of people, and I, I feel bad that so many people feel hurt and are angry. Anyway, leave your comments below about Doreen Virtue and her, you know, her conversion. How do you feel about it? How do you feel about how she's handled it and all that, if you, if you have a comment about it. Um, I do, oh, last thing, we really, 
need to start trusting our own inner connection to the divine directly. This is part of what we're evolving to. It's not that you can't have teachers because now some people are like, oh, don't trust those gurus, <laughs> don't trust anyone. That is absolutely false. You just have to really discern and always run things through your own moral compass as well. You know, don't just don't be led blindfolded. Um, don't be, um, you know, use your, use your discernment. Um, and, and trust always your, yourself, um, your connection to spirit. And again, meditation, if you do that, that's going to keep you on such an even keel that you're going to be very sensitive to people's vibrations. So always, as always, I recommend meditating, okay? Really, really key. So anyway, leave your comments and uh, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm almost up to a thousand and I'm going to admit it. I am very excited about having a thousand subscribers. So <laughs> click subscribe if you if you haven't. Get friends to subscribe. Pay them. Do anything. No. Uh, I'm, I think I'm close. I think I'm close. Anyway, love you guys. Thanks for taking the time. Hope you're entertained or at least your day is lightened when you watch one of my videos. All right. Or that it has some educational value. All right. Namaste. Bye-bye.